Switching over to K2 Designer now, we can create a smart object from the category menu here on the left. You can also select the smart object option on the main page here, but by going through the category list, the smart object will land within the selected existing category automatically. I'll first open the All Items SQL Server Service category, then K2 Tutorial SQL Database, and finally right click the table category. I created these category folders manually for this exercise. Now select New Smart Object from the menu that appears. I'll name the Smart Object Expense Claim Category. For a description, we can enter in Expense Categories for use in the Expense Claim application. Notice the category is already set. This is because we chose to create this Smart Object by right-clicking the desired category named Tables over on the left side of the page. Next, select Advanced Smart Object. We want this option because we are going to use the K2 service object we just created and expose the already existing expense claim category table as a smart object. Let's move on to define the properties and methods. In this case, the database table already exists and is exposed through the service object, so we can open up the K2 Tutorial SQL Database grouping under Service Object Explorer, then open Tables, and drag the Finance Expense Category table over to the Properties tab in the middle of the page. We don't have any columns defined in our smart object to bind the service object properties to yet, but on this window, we can click Create All to automatically set that up. K2 will automatically create fields for all of the columns in the database table that are exposed in the service object by doing this, and that will work for us here. I'll do that and click Finish to close this window. K2 recognizes this as a SQL Server table and does create some default methods that will allow us to get data from the table as well as create and update records. You can see that on the Methods tab here. Note you can control which methods are available here by also removing those you won't need. Editing a method allows you to customize more depending on the needs of your project. We don't need to do anything on the association screen, so we can finish this up. At this point, you can see under the table category, we now have the expense claim category smart object ready for use in a K2 application.